What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the first episode of PFP. What's in the happen? It is PFP. FP. Yo, I said this is the best thing you ever hear in your lifetime. One, uh, wait. So let me just let me just catch my breath, man. No more. He likes to drink water. Yes, so, yes, so, you know, I feel like I need to tell you what PFP is all about. So, just come with me. Let us step into the other, uh, I mean, I mean, make I just tell you now what PFP is all about. Show, show you get. PFP stands for Podcast for Podcasters, and it's a platform where we talk about podcasting in general. We talk about how to record podcasts and how to distribute podcasts. Listen, listen, listen. See, it's going to be educative. It's going to be entertaining. So pull up a chair, grab a smoothie, Chapman, Gala, like a Sera, anything you've got, even if you're about to eat a massive plate of a bar and a goosey, I'm assuring you that we're going to have a really really wonderful time my name is michael answer and i am your host most times you might be thinking should i or should i not be a podcaster but the truth is anyone can be a podcaster i feel like i need to repeat this anyone can be a podcaster if you love to express yourself whether you're an introvert or an extrovert or even an ambivert like me you can in fact you should become a podcaster right our first topic is really important because names introduce you and your content even before people listen to your podcast as you must have guessed our first topic is this choosing a name for your podcast thank you thank you thank you now now the first thing you need to consider before naming your podcast is your niche yeah you need to consider what your content is all about it is important to think about this because it will guide your naming process you can decide to talk about everything you can decide to talk about one thing also bear in mind that each path you choose to take has its pros and cons so it is up to you to decide on the option that fits the vision of your podcast and its purpose so before you choose a name for your podcast there are some points you need to consider important points first you need to choose a name that aligns with your content brother sister this is essential because you don't want your potential listeners to get the wrong idea before your podcast is even heard so you need to choose a name that can announce or even describe your content to your listeners a suitable name can also help with seo which is search engine optimization like once someone is searching for a podcast that is related to yours your podcast will be one of the options that will show up on most search engines so you see it is very very important also you need to choose exciting names yeah you know like i said your name should announce you and it should also sound interesting to any potential listener you know for example if you want your podcast to be all about football you know you can decide to use legwork you know because legwork is synonymous with a very popular dance step in africa and leg has a whole lot to do with football by the way if you decide to use legwork as the name of your podcast uh just come and drop money in my account because i will sue you for copyright infringement yeah i'm, I'm bad like that nah, that's why i be you know that moment you do something bad to someone you know something something happens to someone and then the person is now telling you ah so 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 you're like this so i did i didn't i didn't know that you're like this i didn't i didn't know that you, you, you are like this and you, you did this thing to me so so yeah like, bro you know at that point i'll be like 
yeah that's that's how i be because <laughs> like you're literally asking me so that is how i am and you just experienced what happened to you and i am the one that did that to you and you're asking me so that is oh god that is how i am how else do you want me to explain my that is uh, it just happened to you you are the recipient of whatever happened to you so <laughs> there is no explanation again it happened to you so i am bad like that you understand so if i happen to sue you for copyright infringement that's why if you're going to utilize my mental capacity you need to ask for permission <laughs> you, go, do you understand right let's go on now you also need to avoid words like the and podcast uh, how do i explain this now i take god i beg you i beg no try no try because you know a lot of names starts with z and it looks cliche also when you look at our name pfp bro sister <laughs> you you will see that we we normally use it instead of podcast for podcasters and that is because of the same reason you know so so make sure your name is special to you first and unique to your listeners as well yeah you also need to avoid special characters misspellings and abbreviations now if you know a little bit about seo you will know that a lot of times search engines frown on misspellings and special characters and that can hinder your podcast's visibility online so you need to make sure that it is spelt fully no it is it is already special without special characters should get you know, think about it think about it it is already special without special characters i did too much i have to we'll be having a commercial break and when we come back we will give you the rest for all your audio books and audio related jobs reach out to tonicexpressions at gmail.com. Now, so, now, so, now, so, it is what we do. And we're back, guys. So, let's head right into the topic. So, your name should be easy to spell and pronounce. Should I repeat that? Yes, I think I should. Your name should be easy to spell and pronounce. Just like we said earlier about avoiding special characters and misspellings how would you like to tell someone about the name of your podcast and it is filled with you know special characters and misspellings uh, for example you tell someone that the name of your podcast is uh, lg 5000 question mark and full stop it will sound corny so you see why your name should be easy to spell and pronounce also also very important very important very imp very i suppose talk that in like so many times because this is actually very important make sure your name is not already taken make a talk on again yeah make sure you okay anyways you heard that the first time you need to use the internet search engine a lot on this one so that you'll be sure that your name isn't used elsewhere or even by a popular podcaster <laughs> you see the way i take laugh <laughs> it's not the normal laugh because <laughs> it is crucial it is imagine say your name is already taken by a more popular podcaster and then yours is left in the dust to rot sorry you know i had to go as hard as that to make you understand how important this is please you need to avoid that it's crucial it's important it is vital it is add more you know meanings to it now there is another point about naming your podcast that is really important and that is gathering outside opinions what will other people say about the name of your podcast i had to take that you know very very slowly make you understand now at times it's good to get people's opinions because not be only you go to listen to your podcast now so a whole lot of people will and once you get a good sample size you know sample size i mean like a group of people or you ask a group of people you know that will determine you know how good or how nice your podcast should be or will be also you need to make sure you get the right people not your family members or tight friends because i'm sure they will sugarcoat a whole lot of things that they will tell you so you need to get outside opinions out so as i talk i say it is important it is important if i say it is imp if pfp says it is important it is important repeat after me if pfp says it is important it is important. i know here you shall but there's a reason why so let's let's go ahead let's go ahead so you also need to think about how your show will evolve over time mm -hmm. you need to be a visionary you need to be you need, you need to have foresight you need to have the eye of uh, the dibia in your village 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need to bottle the eyes. No, not literally though. Make it <laughs> because there are you know there are people in this world that actually take things literally. You tell them to do something, they take it literally. Like you know, there, there's a part in the Bible that says if a part of your body causes you to sin, cut it off. You understand? You get some people that will actually take that literally because a whole lot of people get issue with their organ. Make cannot talk. The, they will actually read it if a part of it is you know giving you issue cut it off uh, most people now be like i think i need a knife at this moment because it, it, it remains more man collects hiv aids and all the stds we did this world so for them cutting it off is the only solution <laughs> Yeah. There are people like that. They take things literally, literally like this. So if I talk, me go collect your herbalist eye, make you the see future. No go do it. No, at times you need to explain some things, make people understand. Because you tell somebody something, the person be like, okay. The person now mumuishly walk and do. <laughs> I've had a lot of experiences about this, so that's why I'm taking my time to talk about this. It's very. Anyways, let's let's go ahead. Uh, where, where was I? Uh, yes, yeah, you need to think about how your podcast will be in the future. So if, you, if you're choosing a name, make sure that it's a name that fits other aspects of media and business. Let's say you plan on having a merchandise and the name of your podcast originated from a very popular controversy. <laughs> you see the way I take that? <laughs> or maybe it originated from a really bad narrative or a bad stereotype. Or more people are getting too liberal with a whole lot of things in this world or with a whole lot of ideas ideas and notions the other day i saw on twitter where someone said you know that he was chased out of the church because the guy said fuck the devil <laughs> you're correct but what people so you see you see the reason why it is good to have that in mind while naming your podcast imagine you're talking about you know how great america is how white people are emphatically said white people are doing well in their community it is not wrong you know it is not wrong you know you're you're talking about white people and your audience is predominantly black people if you don't get hung the fuck up because that's the wrong audience so you you need to be careful you need to be careful about the name of your podcast that's how that's how it is you know you're talking with a black guy and then you don't be like the the, the name of my podcast is actually white supremacy you know it's a a very good podcast and i really want you to listen to it you're gonna like it you're really gonna like it it's a very (laughs) good podcast the black person will now be like bro what 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 is wrong with you man What's wrong with you? Why would you? Why would you come up here with that thing, nigga? What's wrong with you? What's... And that's how they will shoot you, you know. You no, know, because a whole lot of times, some people they are always strapped, you know, for protection. So you might just be as they talk on a white supreme. What? And a guy is dead. That's how you died because you about to start a podcast. So in order to save your life, PFP is here. So be careful. You don't need to profit to tell you that your podcast and your brand will be in the mud especially on twitter especially if you have the wrong name because that's how they will drag you on twitter like this and it's not a funny experience you know you get how you go come be safe you go come the record podcasts in prison remember the issue with the president of a particular african country where somebody named something and then the person was named again in the prison register <laughs> you don't get it forget about it so you need a clear vision and foresight your your vision will decide how your content and also how the name of your podcast will take shape finally choose a name you like saying out loud and others will enjoy saying out loud if you're choosing a name that sounds like a tongue twister wahala good day there will be problem there will be a big problem give people assignments from out so once you enjoy what you're saying and your confidence with it that confidence can easily be transferred to your listeners so ladies and gentlemen if you need professional help on anything related to podcasting audio or music recording mixing and mastering just contact us through any of our social media handles and we will be glad to be of service to you with this we've come to the end of today's podcast if you love what you hear do leave a like and a comment on our content and your ex will call you to apologize Aww. yeah so if you do these things that we just told you you could be surprised you just your ex will just call you if I, even if you are married safe so also remember to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to enjoy our content immediately it is released also remember to follow us on all social media subscribe to our content on youtube because this is where it is coming from pfp nowhere else man nowhere else so that's what's up guys that's what's up the name is michael almser and it is p fp signing out <laughs>